Hey, Dario. Hello. I know I know you were in particular super close to Decky. Can you just talk a little bit about what he meant to you and, and what your relationship with him was like? Uh, I mean, um, he really had like a great impact on me for such a short period of time. I mean, just the way our conversation were heading, you know, how we see the basketball maybe a little bit different way than actually here in the States. We would kind of like go talk about that, you know. We will kind of go against each other about uh, some situations, about videos, you know, like he was thinking I should this, I should do something like this, or in my opinion, I was thinking like I, I should do it different. So we have like some kind of relation, like, you know, he was like my older brother, you know, he was kind of person he could tell me in a way, you know, in a positive way, like, Dario, you stupid, you know. But I will not get that too hard, and I know because he wants me like to do better, you know, to do a situation better because he is trusting in my in my ability to play basketball. So it's just such a positive person, smiling always, you know. When I'm in bad mood, he was kind of like bringing it up, you know, and, and that kind of stuff, you know. Great mentor, great mentor, you know. We kind of came up from the same similar background, you know, back in Europe. So having him, it was like really blessed for me. And, uh, you know, I never had a coach like him, you know, in that short period, have like a great impact on me, you know, like mentally to be able to play basketball, you know, give me the details on the court, how to play, you know, how to do some situation better what's going to keep me on the floor and that kind of stuff. So, you know, just, I mean, amazing guy, amazing person, smiling always, you know. He was kind of coach, you know. He got his own wave of coaching. So it's like you need just to listen to him, you know. Like sometimes, you know, guys have a, like, situation maybe they don't like the coach the way how he is approaching that kind of stuff but Deki was like kind of that you know he got his own system of working and for you it's only like you just jump on that you know just feel that way of working how he is working and he was just you know great coach you know point things on the details you know I think you know, coming on the on the, on, the, on the, coming on the practice, and you see the bigs kind of like playing one on one. You know, sweating against each other. You know, bumping against each other. And other guys were just shooting before practice. You know, we were playing like once. You know, every almost like every day when we got time. It's just like his way of working. You know, and we were just like okay with that. You know. Steve was okay with that, you know, medical part was okay with that because he, they know, like, that's a way of coaching. That's a way of Deki's, Deki's coaching. So, amazing person, just amazing family, you know. He got amazing family, amazing son, amazing daughter, amazing wife, you know. I'm happy for them, you know, they'll be able to go back home, you know stick with their own family, you know, you know, just sad, you know, that happened, but, you know, he was a great man. Dario, Steve mentioned before a couple of days ago during practice how instrumental you have been as a support system for his, his mm -hmm. family, his wife and children. Why has, why was that just an important task for you to take on? Um... I mean, I just kind of like felt it, you know, similar kind of background. We know how the things go and family kind of felt, you know, and I kind of felt, you know, like, you know, I can be there for them, you know, in in in, in, in this kind of moment, you know, language wise, culture wise. So, you know, I don't want to take any credit for that or something like it's just like, 
what I felt, you know, the family kind of like need and it was tough for me to kind of handle that mentally too. But like, I understand, you know, if I can help that family at least like 1%, you know, that's, that's kind of like, that's how I felt, you know, about, about how Deki means for me, me you know, and, uh, you know, I don't know what to really how to explain and say just help them, you know, in which way is possible, you know, and uh, you know, great family, happy for them, they will be able to go home, kind of like hang out, literally with their own family and kind of like go through that, you know, which is not easy. What was the mental transition for you tonight after the pregame tributes to that and just having to go and play play a game was it did it take a second for everything to settle down for you just emotionally or was it yeah, yeah yeah it is you know like whole kind of weekend was like for me you know emotionally like roller coaster you know sometimes i'm fine sometimes like i want to cry sometimes like you remember good moments sometimes like you remember you know and the the emotions today was Hi, uh, you know, of course, you know, for some guys, three years spending here, you know, it was like really, he was really big for them, but it was big for me. It was really hard to kind of like to manage that in that moment, you know, I think it was really important for us, you know, kind of like do that and start a game in the right way and try to win this game, you know, obviously it was such emotion. Roller coaster for all of us last couple of days, and um, you know the chair. You know, Deki was sitting is just like hits you different, you know. And um, but that's how it is in right now. And you know, I'm so happy we kind of find a way to win this game for 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 De Deki first of all, and. Now for us, you know, to stay in kind of playing playoff run and, uh, you know, last week was hard for all of us, so we're happy we get this win. Dario, did, did you do anything specific to honor Deki tonight? Uh, I mean, no, really, you know, I was going kind of through the routine you know, same routine we were doing before the game. What he would like to do, you know, <clears throat> you know, talk with other coaches about that, you know, with some clip, you know, the last year, how between uh, the Marco and uh, Deki, you know, some situation in game four against Sacramento when they kind of like hugging each other and throw the Marco threw the chair on Deki, so kind of like a little smile before the game. But me, like, no, really, I think just stick to the routine, you know, what he taught me about, like, how to play the game, you know, to be brave, and that kind of stuff was going through my mind. You know, I think the most important thing was for me just kind of like get routine back. And, uh, you know, you know, Deck is gonna, you know, stay in my head, you know, for some quite time. It's not gonna something I will just go over to, to because we were kind of like every day together, working out together. Just, it's gonna need some time to settle in. Can you explain to us how much of an impact he had on you ending up here with the Warriors? <laughs> um. Yeah, we meet a couple of times, you know, I was playing for the Suns and I was wasn't I wasn't playing that much. And uh, you know, I was thinking, you know, maybe just go back in Europe and that kind of stuff in my mind, you know, obviously all European guys when they don't have a pretty much enough time on the court, they have that kind of like mental struggle, I would say. They want to kind of go back and play, you know, EuroLeague. And I know he was coming at me and he was like, you know, I know 
you know, I never talked to him before, and he just came to me and said, like, you know, I know you're not playing a lot, but you just you need to kind of like stick together. Don't try to think go back in Europe. You know, you know, chance is gonna come for you. That's for sure. You know, you just be mentally ready. You know, but he was coaching for other team. And, uh, you know, I kind of say, OK, OK. And the next time I get traded to OKC this season, last season, and uh, it was kind of like legendary night for the OKC Thunder and the Kerstich. Nena Kerstich kind of was in town. And we were playing together back in uh, Turkey, in FS. And we were like, OK, let's kind of meet, let's get a coffee. And that moment, the Warriors kind of came in the city. The Warriors came in the city and then I told me like, you know, Decky is in the town and Ron Adams is in the town, you know, they're going to come and say hello. You know, I say, OK, I come, you know, too, and kind of like we talk. And, you know, that's when I meet Decky and kind of again, we kind of sit, drink coffee and kind of like talk about everything, about the same background. That's he was, you know, kind of give me advice, you know in a way, you know, how to pay some details. So, and, uh, you know, after that summer kind of came, you know, the free agency opened and, uh, you know, Dicky was the first one, you know, kind of like sent me a message, you know, we want you, you know, what you think about that, you know, and uh, you obviously after that, Steve kind of calls, Chris, you know, but Dicky was the kind of like first one, you know, <coughs> Please come, no, kind of please come, but you know, come with Warriors. You know, I think you're gonna play, you're gonna have a good opportunity to hear here. And you know, talk on the phone a little bit, and uh, you know, obviously, after a couple of days, you just make a decision, you know, to come to Warriors. He, I think he was the first kind of like guy to reach me. Yeah.